right let's head over to the app store dap store i mean uh, there's loads of dapps you can install to do all sorts of things um and uh, mostly related to staking but uh, also otherwise but we gonna go and install prism now which is the validator and the beacon chain for the east for east staking now if you want to test it with uh, with fake ether then go with the prism prata package uh, don't go with the prism package at the top and in combination with uh, do it uh, install girly geth as well because those two packages packages prism prata and girly geth they go together like prism goes together with geth so here we are in the uh, prism package let's install that we are seeing lots of confusing stuff at the bottom geth turbo geth open ethereum nethermind and so on we're gonna go with geth um you don't have to do anything here it would be good for client diversity to uh, use something else than geth but geth is easiest pre-configured and it had the least problems when I, I tried a few others so let's leave it here to begin with we can always change it later now we read through this very carefully and then um, accept that and let's speed this up again it roughly took a minute or two when i did it here again and enabling the auto updates you want to be careful with that uh, but let's enable it for now and yeah here we go package is installed and let's have a closer look at the prism package oh on in the dashboard actually um there it's syncing now it says block 191 out of a lot uh, block 446 and so on so let's have a quick look into the package itself and um, you see the version down there you see the config file where we can change it later on if we wish to um, network configuration the logs if anything uh, fails we can read it up there let's have a closer look at the logs this is the validator and the validator is actually the the part which proposes the blocks so that's the part where you put the 32 ETH towards that's where what you do the the stuff on the launch pad for so we haven't done that yet um we do that later and the beacon chain this is the part of prism which actually validates other proposed transactions so other nodes proposed uh blocks and we are validating we're already doing this now live already so it says uh, 27 peers up there, zero inbound, 27 outbound. Now there's 44 peers. Uh, so this goes up to a uh, maximum number of, I think, 45 is the default. We're going to see later how we change that. And here, Prism happily syncing still. And now I'm going to go to install Geth. Um, so currently it's not on the remote oh it's not in the dapp store it's a bit confusing again you go to system repository and that's where you install the the geth package so currently it's set to remote that's all we did at the beginning um this is fine but not as secure because you're not relying on your own node so then uh, there is a light client which is sort of halfway in between the two i'm not quite sure what that is uh exactly and uh, and then the full note full node we are going to go for and let's go for geth uh, rather than open ethereum or others because i found that the most reliable right uh, you use remote during syncing or errors is still on so if something's wrong with geth uh, then it switches back to the remote which is quite handy and here we go there is a prism syncing there's geth syncing and at this point i got uh, cold feet and i did then install the prata version of both of these just to be able to test everything uh, without it costing me too much money. So not going to show you this. It's exactly the same process, but then in the end, we have just uh, more packages showing up here, which might be a bit confusing, but uh, now you know what that's all about.